सो सेकेंड ईयर बी कॉम कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन सेकेंड ईयर बी कॉम कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन थर्ड सेमिस्टर आर डी बी एम एस यूनिट फाइव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटाबेसिस एंड क्लाइंट सर्वर डेटाबेस सिस्टम सो सेकेंड ईयर बी कॉम कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन थर्ड सेमिस्टर आर डी बी एम एस फिफ्टी यूनिट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटाबेसिस एंड क्लाइंट सर्वर डेटाबेसिस सो वट आर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटाबेसिस वट आर दर स्ट्रक्चर आर्किटेक्चर देर फीचर्स एंड अप्लीकेशन बेनिफिट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव वाट इज द क्लाइंट सर्वर मॉडल आल दीज थिंग्स वी विल डिस्कस हियर सो द क्लाइंट सर्वर मॉडल वी स्टार्ट विथ क्लाइंट सर्वर मॉडल सो वाट इज क्लाइंट सर्वर बेसिक्स क्लाइंट सर्वर इन मोर डिटेल क्लाइंट सर्वर समरी स्टैंडर्ड ऑर्गनजेशन so what is client server databases or client server networks or client server databases the first examination of client server is not a brief definition a server is a program or a collection of cooperative programs that provide services and or manages resources and behavior for other users it's client so a client and in the client server databases uh, or client server environment A, a server is a an application program a program or application program or a software or a collection of software softwares uh, generally that provides services and uh, services to the other uh, services and uh, manages resources and the client and we have to program the client so generally in the client server environment client requests for a service Uh, and the uh, server responds to the uh, client uh, request uh, it may be a service or a resource so this is the diagram of client server environment in the client server environment we will uh, the, the database is uh, in uh, place get server system by computer and all the clients are connected through lan or wan to the server and generally clients request for something and the server responds to the queries asked by the clients through lan or wan or network so because of data or data or information or databases or place get server means at one place <laughs> So there are may there may be a number of clients may be allowed to connect to a server via LAN or WAN through various applications or end users by end users or applications or softwares or programs. So example the ATM network the clients are the ATM machines user interfaces some simple application processing the server is a bank. most application processing very large databases of customer requests so architectural requirements so what is the architecture of client server databases means reliable robust communication between the clients and server client server cooperation application processing is usually distributed between a client and the server server controls services and data that the client accesses server handles config request so in the client server architecture requirements uh, there are some specific features uh, or characteristics are used first one is reliable robust communication between the client and servers and uh, client server cooperation and uh, application processing is usually distributed means in client server databases distributed databases uh, distributed databases techniques are used uh, between clients and servers and generally server controls services server control services or data that the client accesses and uh, server handles conflicting requests so what are the recent uh, client server architecture space more complex networking lan wan web internet based client mobility more complex data structures means rational multimedia computer related services distributed databases so 
इंजरेशन टेंस टेंस वाला स्पेशल इस बंदे का स्पेशल जिस पे आई एस इन लैंड्स लैंड्स वेबसाइट्स एप्लीकेशंस इंटरनेट वेबसाइट्स एप्लीकेशंस इंटरनेट एप्लीकेशंस वेबसाइट्स सिमिलरली इस पे यूज़ इन मोबाइल एप्लीकेशंस तो क्लाइंट मोबाइल फ्रॉम द मोबाइल एप्लीकेशंस लाइक जनरली जो मैं यूज़ करना है मतलब जो आप बताए रहे हैं जैसे जैसे अगर आप कुछ भी तो सेपरेशन ऑफ बिजनेस लॉजिक डेट इस प्रोग्राम कोर फॉर मैनिपुलेटिंग डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा थ्री टाइप मल्टी टाइप आर्किटेक्चर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बिजनेस लॉजिक सो जनरली इन क्लाइंट सर्वर डेटाबेसेस आर means maintain separately maintain separately from the data databases means here we use uh, uh, separate servers or separate uh, applications in one server databases are maintained in manipul maintained in one server and the application programs and the business logic what is business logic business logic means application code and application programs and uh, it is called as a three-tier architecture. What is a three-tier or a multi-tier? What is a three-tier architecture means in a three-tier architecture, there are three layers or three servers are maintained. One is for databases, database server. Second one is for business logic or code or software or programs. Third one is for distributed uh, business logic distributed business logic so what are client servers uh, environment or what is client server environment what is a client server databases and how it works in different types of client server databases so converting a database application component of placement is a two tier model three tier model locating the business logic locating the data multi tier model so converting a business application, database application. So in client server environment, standalone application, generally uh, a standalone application means it is printed in a single computer. Generally it contains uh, four layers of so presentation logic, business logic and database logic and business and your database, physical databases. So different client server models are obtained by locating different components in the combination of applications and the client servers. So two tier model. What is two tier model? Two tier model. In two tier model, or it is also called as client server model. In two tier model, there are two components. One is client. System. It is also called as thin client. Thin client or client. It is known as server or database server or anything. So thin client means clients. Uh, generally, clients have some uh, presentation logic, business logic, and database logic. And they are connected to the server. The server contains database logic and DDMS, physical databases. So the database is on the server in a two uh, client uh, client server environment or in a two tier environment two tier model database model the database is placed at the server systems could somehow uh, under distributed database logic most of it is on the client the client does the presentation and uh, much simpler if all the database servers are the same so in the two tier model uh, generally, the clients have some presentation uh, presentation logics and web logics like that. And the database uh, servers of uh, databases are uh, kept at uh, server systems. So, what are the drawbacks? What are the main drawbacks of using client server model or two tier model? Two tier model or client server model. So, what are the different drawbacks of two tier model and uh, client server model? First one is 
it is difficult to build heterogeneous database environment second one is transaction processing is limited by the dbms third one is asynchronous processing is difficult that is the client doesn't wait for the server sensor scalability so these are the four difficulties in today model or with client server model heterogeneous database environment transaction processing is limited by the dbms in today model next one is three tier model what is the three tier model in that three tier model we are using three servers or three systems first one is clients second one is application servers second one is application servers means the core application software hardware programs are kept at uh, these servers third one is data servers means the data physical databases are placed at data servers these are also servers and these three are connected by uh, some lan or wan systems network models so the three tier model uh, here we explain the uh, working of a three tier model in the three tier model tier one contains some uh, fast test working machines or high speed systems like we may use uh, mainframe systems uh, one for system and in the type 2 or second type uh, various servers means the number of servers that are connected to the type 1 that is mainframe computer and the type 3 in the type 3 uh, uh, clients or the client systems are connected by to the these servers by using some LAN RAM. So in the tier one nine terms are used, they are very fast, high speed. And uh, tier two has many servers like application server, database servers, business logic servers, uh, and the tier three are normal uh, normal systems connected to the servers using network side lines. So the mainframe host is usually a very large database or databases sometimes called as a backend server. So in the tier one we may use mainframes. Why? Because it is a large database servers are also called as backend servers with high speed. And uh, generally the cost is uh, varies from going from going to tier three to tier one means mainframe systems have uh, several high costs and the server usually holds shared applications application or business logic so in the servers that is um, uh, tied to we may use various servers and uh, all the applications application programs are uh, installed in web servers by in these servers and they are generally on a shared mode shared mode means we can give some sharing properties to them so it is also called as a middle tier server middle tier servers so what are the benefits or uh, applications of three tiers over two tier the application logic in the middle tier is more independent of the client and the backend server the application logic in the middle tier can work more easily with the data from multiple resources and so what are the benefits or applications means in three tier compared to two tier is the application logic in the middle tier that is type two is more independent of the client and the back end servers so problems what are the problems much more complex means it is very complex and complicated why because we need a very large network management data integrity is required uh, high data integrity maintenance also required development costs are also high still partially dependent on performance means uh, the client may still be restricted to a certain application servers so example is a real time atm network the atm machines are the clients the middle time servers provide second processing means checking balances money transfer request 
directing uh, queries to the relevant backend backend servers is specialized by account type like that so many web applications are three type so all the uh, commercial web applications like banking insurance or nowadays we are using are using three tier architecture the web browser is the client software the web browser is the client software uh, we are using web browsers on the clients etc mobiles mobile like that the embedded components in the web pages that is example the web that's come for the middleware middle type the backend server contains the database or web web so locating the business logic so this is the client server architecture of two tier or three tier architectures 